friends and welcome to lore of mythology. I am Cain. I will tell you a tale, the tale of Artemis and her twin brother Apollo and how their mother avoided the envy of Hera. Leto was a titan goddess who was Zeus his mate before he married Hera. In that time she became pregnant and even though their relationship had passed, Hera was filled with jealousy and spite. She hunted down Leto to the ends of the earth, even sending the mighty Python to chase her. Leto was cursed as she could not give birth on land. Fortunately, she found an island that did not touch the ground. First, she gave birth to Artemis, and after seven days of labor, Apollo was born. Legends say Artemis aided her mother as a midwife, and so became a protector of women who went into labor. The children grew rapidly powerful. At the age of only four days, Apollo killed the python. Yet, he had to be punished, for the slayed beast was a child of Gaia, the Earth Mother. During this period, Artemis spent her days in the wild, binding with nature and learning the ways of the hunt. She became skilled with a bow and found a connection to the moon. Artemis chose independence and requested to her father Zeus for eternal chastity and virginity. However, Artemis was not without spite. On a fateful day, the Queen of Thebes boasted that she was better than Leto, for she had given birth to seven girls and seven boys, instead of only having two children. Artemis and Apollo were protective of their mother, and shut down all the children but one of each gender, so no one would ever again claim that they were superior to Leto, the titan goddess of motherhood. Together with Apollo, she stood at the side of Troy in the Trojan War. Agamemnon, general of the Greek army, often insulted Artemis. He foolishly boasted that his ways of the hunt were superior to Artemis. So Artemis stopped the Greek ships in the sea, calming the waters so they could not sail. Agamemnon had to sacrifice the thing he loved the most to be free of these eerie calm waters. He sacrificed his daughter to Artemis, and so she allowed them to pass. She had to honor his sacrifice. I remember the Trojan War. I stood alongside heroes such as Achilles and Ajax. It was glorious. You never fought in the Trojan War? I did. I single-handedly smashed down the Trojan Gate and destroyed Troy's army. That is not true. Precisely. I always speak the truth. I do believe you're over-exaggerating. Now hear me. Agamemnon was not the only king to ever be foolish enough to insult Artemis. King Oeneus hosted the Harvest Festival, honoring all the gods, except he forgot to honor Artemis. A foolish ploy indeed. Insulted, she sent a Caledonian boar to wreak havoc upon his kingdom. The king then held a Caledonian hunt to slay the beast. Many heroes came from all over Greece. In the end, it was the woman Atalanta who won the trophies. The only female huntress to enter the competition. She was favored by the goddess for she had taken the oath of virginity to Artemis. Artemis now spends her time in nature with her sacred animals, nurturing herself under the light of the moon, practicing her skill, and protecting all women who would call upon her. This is the tale of Artemis, goddess of the hunt. I do hope you thoroughly enjoyed yourselves. Now, I'm going to take a nap. Until next time. I'm awake, I'm awake. I dream of